in 2019, Stockport were playing in National League North. But now, after three promotions in six seasons, they're back in League One. Their promotion was confirmed after Saturday's win against Morecambe, their sixth straight victory. And joining us now is the man on the end here, Dave Talner. And we can see him in the big screen. Good to see you, Dave. You've had a couple of days to let it sink in. How are you feeling? Uh, feeling good. Looking forward to uh, another game, obviously, tomorrow at Notts County. Um, a, a great achievement. Um, a, a, a strange one, to be fair, because I suppose our result at Colchester last Tuesday uh, went a long way to getting us promoted, but we weren't actually across the line. Um, so we confirmed that on on Saturday, and now we have an opportunity to hopefully go and wrap the league title up within the next, next three games. Yeah, we'll talk about that in just a moment, but let's just talk about the season itself. You went on that record equaling 12 game unbeaten run before Christmas. Just how proud of you, of your, of your players are you? Because you've also had a bit of an injury crisis as well. Yeah, I, I think super proud as, as always. Um, we, we are really demanding of the players and, and they've reacted in a really, really good way. Um, th that's been the big thing for us. The strength of our squad this year has, has without question got us through because um, we're fortunate to have, I suppose, backing from an owner that is um, openly ambitious and wants to move the club forward. And we've had some really, really bad, bad runs of, of injury, um, which has meant that consistently we've had to, I suppose, change our change our team um, and had important players out. But other lads have, have stepped in, um, and it has been a real, um, a real group effort, a real squad effort to make sure we've achieved our objective at the start of the season and got ourselves into the position that we are. Yeah, and you yourself should feel really proud because, of course, you've had to manage that injury crisis and it seems to have worked out quite well. It, it, yeah, it's been different. It's been a challenge. I think that um, all the challenges you face over the course of your, your managerial career will, will make you better. Um, I hope I don't have to go through it again. Um, but if, if, if it does ever happen, then I think you can take solace and comfort in the fact that you've dealt with those types of things, th things before. Um, and we above anything else, want to make sure that we give ourselves the best chance in the league one by making sure that the squad that we put together um, remains fit for the, as long or as much of the season as possible, um, as every manager would. Um, and, and certainly that will make the sleepless nights a bit, a bit less. You mentioned you, you sort of, you know, you've had experience of things. You did have experience, didn't you, of the dreaded playoff final, didn't you, where you lost to Carlisle. The heartbreak of that, you know, losing on penalties as well. Did that give you a bit more motivation, do you feel, this time around to, to not do that again? I certainly think it did for, for the players. Like I say, we've used it um, within our group as a, as a reminder of, of what we went through. Um, and I've been at Wembley and, and won at Wembley and lost at Wembley. There's no there's no better way of, of getting promoted, in in my opinion, than a, a one-off game with all the jeopardy that's on it. But it is absolutely the worst place in the world to, to lose a football match with, with so much, from our perspective, riding on it. Um, thankfully, this year, that won't be the case for us and we can, I suppose, look on... Um, in a, in a way of or what that what the playoff situation will, will look like um, and somebody is going to have the euphoria of getting promoted and someone um, unfortunately will, will miss out and go through go through what we did um, so yeah th them memories good or bad will always stay with you and in my opinion will always drive you to whatever whatever comes next well what comes next for you is if you get that win against Notts County, a big smile returns to your face there, you will be champions. After coming all the way from down in National League North, not so long ago, just put this into perspective, what this will mean for Stockport County. It'll be huge for the football club because um, the owner obviously came in, um, I think, four, four years ago maybe, um, with a plan of getting the football club back to where it was when, when when I was a player 20, 20 odd years ago in the in the championship and that's a that's a big statement but um, everything he's promised so far he's, he's absolutely delivered on um, there's been lots to go through this club really did hit rock bottom in terms of getting or going to the the National League North um, and has been been built back up um, from my perspective really honoured that I was trusted um, to be given the opportunity to get the first off get the club back in the football league um, like you say we had that heartache of, of last season but this season's been 
fantastic for us and um, the, the hard work that everybody has put in, not just the people inside our building here, but um, throughout, the, throughout the football club, um, will just allow us to do lots, lots more um, and, and go through, I suppose, a different phase. Um, you always have plans and, and what that looks like and um, the plan for us now will be to put a a new plan in place if you like to get to the championship as quickly as quickly as possible that might go in a different um, a different way in terms of our own players and, and developing younger players if you like um, but that's a, like I say something that's really exciting um, and something that everyone can um, embrace when it comes around do you feel like you're almost ready for it do you feel like you're very ready to go up anyway uh, I feel I'm really very ready to go up because, I, like you say, that last season and this season combined, I just felt the, the a, a different challenge next year would be great for everybody. Um, and without question, off the pitch, the club is, is absolutely ready. Um, it becomes important now, and, and uh, we've had a process in place for a long, long time, but um, once we got across the line, if you like, on Saturday, you can all of a sudden start actioning some of those plans that you've got in place. So it will be a, a busy couple of months for us. Um, Thankfully, all of our pre-season schedule is all is all sorted, so we can focus on recruitment and what we need to do over the, thankfully this year, slightly longer extended break um, because that's not been um, something that's we've happened over the over the last few years to um, relax, um, reflect on what we've done, um, and come back at the end of June, start of July, um, with a focus on how we can be successful as a League One club. Dare I say it, Dave? Last year. When Wrexham went up, of course, the other team that's gone up as well, um, they took their players to Vegas. Where are your lot going? Not Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, the, the lads are the lads are planning are planning are planning something. Um, and I think, listen, I think it's really really important that what happens in football is is football yearly is obviously cyclic, and um, this group will not be together next year. There'll be changes within that. So when you do have, have success, um, you have to you have to enjoy it. We've made memories all year that um, will stick with people for a long time. I think the ultimate memory is still in front of us in terms of that League Championship trophy. Um, but then once that is hopefully um, hopefully in our our grasp, um, then lads will enjoy a enjoy a break, uh, enjoy a few a few days together that again um, I suspect will create some create some more memories that will live with them for a lifetime. Well, good luck with it. Good luck with the game as well against Notts County. Go up as winners if you can. Thanks for joining us, Dave. Enjoy the rest over the summer as well. You are going up.